Hey gang, Sarah here. So I am here to do my. I'm here to set up my functional Hobonichi cousin planning system for week 31. I don't even know what to call this anymore because now it's like Hobonichi rings and steology. <laughs> so, anyway. If uh, you like functional planning and project management and work things, uh, please consider subscribing and uh, thanks for coming to the channel. And for all you that have been here for a while, hey everyone, I'm just getting back into the groove of things. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oy, what a month. But thanks for coming back and sticking with me. So week 31. I have to say, I'm starting my new job tomorrow. I'm excited about that, but it's definitely hitting me. I'm feeling a little stressed, like, but like a good stress, excited stress. Is that a real thing? I don't even know what the word for that would be. But anyway, I'm really glad to kind of be getting back into a routine and I feel ready, which is another thing, but I'm also like nervously stressed, as I was just saying. So this week's plan with me is a little weird because I only know that I have orientation all day on Monday. That's all I know. However, I did get a giant like list of two weeks worth of meetings, um, but I don't have like times. It's like people I need to touch base with. <laughs> so I don't know when those meetings are going to be scheduled. Um, so I guess that will be kind of what orientation is going to be like. And then also, I know that I'm starting to just, I know I have things I want to do to manage my own kind of like onboarding on, into a new company, like 30, 60, 90 day plan. That's like aside from what my new manager will give me for goals. Um, and that's more about like learning um, about the company and about like what their metrics are, their culture, that kind of thing, their customer, their products, that that sort of thing. So I know I have a lot of that to do, but I obviously I'm going to do that around other time. And then another thing that I did in my kind of July, um, I really just focused on like setting up systems to manage it all. So if you guys watched my August plan with me for my work bullet journal set up, I am going to track to make sure I'm not, like, I'm sure I'm going to put more hours than normal into a new, because it's a new job, obviously, and I want to make them feel like they made the right decision hiring me. But I also want to make sure that I'm keeping balance, because I can already feel like this is a level up for me. And while I'm confident, I know I can do the job. Like, I'm also like that growth insecurities <laughs> is setting in. So, um, I want to make sure that I'm not like obsessing over it because I think that I do get that tendency. So I'm going to be tracking like my work hours. And then another thing that I did, and I've been really thinking a lot about like balancing and productivity, but like not cramming as much as you can do in one day. That's not productive. I don't subscribe to that. But um, so in kind of building out my systems in July, I set up a routine for plan the grind because I know you guys keep hearing me say this. I have so many products that I have not released yet because I just can't find the time to like take the pictures and do the listings and everything. And I really love playing the grind. So I want to make time for that. So I set up <clears throat> some like days, like themes for the days of the week for plan the grind. Uh, Mondays are off because that's like my date night with my husband, boyfriend, man, friend, Scott. And, um, and that's important to me, so I want to keep that. But I did um, set up like different themes, like Mondays or Monday, Wednesday, Fridays are for orders. Um, you know, Tuesday, Wednesdays are for this. You know, so anyway, so I have that routine in there that I'm trying to get in, and I'm excited. So I played with it a little bit last week, but I was on vacation last week uh, with Scott, and that's probably the only vacation I'm going to get for this year because I can't start a new job and then take vacation. So I felt it was important to just kind of spend time with him. And I wanted to, frankly. Um, so I set up those systems. I'm keeping with my normal kind of planning routine and daily management, if you will. 
It's going to look different because it's a new job, but I don't know what it'll look like. But I know the cadence of my routine is still the same. So like I have my goals for Play on the Grind, my continuous improvement project, which I'm focusing on fun for the month of August, which I think is good because I think that I will fall into doing a lot of like work. Um, Work, I want to obviously kind of just get on the first 30 day goals. And family, I started back to HelloFresh. I did this a long time ago, but I like we're ordering out way too much. Even my teenage sons agree with this. It's kind of funny. So I'm like, maybe if I like revamp HelloFresh, we'll try that. So I got my first box. Um, and then on my daily pages, I'm still going to incorporate my journaling in like the big section where the like from like the hourly time. I don't know how to do that. But that's I don't have a sticker for that. But I am going to still do my journaling. I really like doing that, but I've kind of been out of the routine of it with being on vacation. But my daily pages are really about, you know, my to do's, my next actions, my inbox, my waiting on that kind of stuff. So I'm still going to structure my daily pages like that. I'm sure it's going to be a lot less because of what, obviously, just I'm starting a new role. Um, But you guys know, I love the whole David Allen's methodology. And sorry about hitting the camera there. And I just break up my days like that. So it's like a template. I know I'm going to, can. I know that I'm going to need that anyhow. So it's funny because like I'm starting a new job. My day is going to look very different, but the way I manage my day doesn't have to, like the core of how I manage it with the next actions to do, that's going to be the same. Well, I think so, you know, we'll see, but I'm pretty sure that it will because that's, it. you know, a few jobs in, I've been doing the same thing. So here I'm checking out like how many available hours that I have this week to to that is unscheduled. Um, I'm not going to say that I have that actual many, but it comes up to 58 hours. And you guys know I like to track that. And I'm putting that down at the bottom um, of my weekly spread because I want to track how many hours that I actually use that effectively rather than just scrolling through Instagram reels, which are killing me. I need to like make a no social media day or something. Um, but anyhow, that is like, I, you know, so of the 58 hours, I'll, it'll be like rolling. So Monday I'll do like two of 58 hours. Then if I do another two hours on Tuesday, it'll be four or 58 hours. So I'm putting that down at the bottom. And I want to use this, like incorporate some like memory planning into this. I don't know how it's going to look, but we'll see. Um, And I don't know that I need to be strict about it, but I like that I'm incorporating the journaling into the daily pages. So I don't know, like I just see some high level memory planning on the weekly spreads and I just love how that looks. So I'm going to try to do that. And I got my email tracker in there because you all know I love to track my emails and I don't think they're going to be anywhere near as crazy as my last rule, but I still want to do it because it's just a nice habit to be in. Um, And now I'm doing, so this is my weekly review and I am really light on this because obviously I'm starting a new job, but I did put some stuff in here and this is my work bullet journal and I'm running through my trigger list to empty the brain. And I know today, like I'm starting to feel like that overwhelmed stress that I was talking about. So I wanted to put it in there because I just want to get it on the page out of my head. And then at the end of this, I ended up going back and putting my stress post-its in there because I know that like, I don't know, I just, I feel like I just want to be prepared to manage it. I don't. This is the things that I do to make myself feel more confident <laughs> so um, and prepared because I just, yeah, anyway, it works for me. So I'm going through and I know that I want to get like my workspace set up today and my got my phone, I got my laptop, I got all my things and I haven't even turned them on yet and it's like tomorrow. So I know today I'm going to spend a lot of time doing that after I put this plan with me up. And so here's where I'm kind of just sticking all my stuff in my file of facts Malden. So my work bullet journals in the back. And then here's my stress post-its. And this is just to write down like a quick 
what's stressing me type thing. Uh, Cause I want to measure this and I have it set up in my progress planner while I like evaluate the triggers that cause my stress. Um, and I know feeling unprepared is, is such a stress trigger for me. So that's why I just want to like get into it. So thanks for watching everyone. I hope you like this video and uh, consider liking and subscribing if you did. So take care everyone and check out these other two videos. Bye.